Now to center field. Taylor is back, all the way back. And he runs out of room, and Diaz clears two walls in center field. That is his fourth home run of the year. And the Rays are on the board with two down in the third inning. The emergency situation that Davey referenced. Yeah, here you go. And a ball hit high in the air right center. Oh, my. Look at that thing fly. And Jock Peterson hits his fourth homer of the year. I think he stopped to admire it, and we're not going to blame him for that one. It really just depends on what we do from now on. Luis Garcia hits one deep to right center field. That young man can hit a solo home run to get the Nationals into the run column. It's 12 to 1. Now the 2 0. And Solinsky hits one high and deep to right. And that baby is gone off the back wall. Zelensky on the 2 0 pitch, lefty on lefty, hits his 12th home run of the year. The view of the, of the whole field. Um, uh oh. That one's going to go a long way. And he does it again. Killer. Almost Good. to the concourse. Good. Garrett Cooper with a two run homer. That makes it a one run game. You got to be locked in. You never know when they're going to come down and give, give that. India gets into it, charges to deep left center. Yep. One run game. Oh, crushed. He hung him a curveball, and that one is way back, and it's not coming back. Alex Verdugo puts the Red Sox on top three to two with a two out three run homer here in the sixth. From Ed Rosario, 0 for 2. It's only his first year, though. Make some adjustments. Slugs one deep center field. Back is Thomas. He won't get that one. Goodbye. Then you would probably see Dylan Moore come in. And Rodriguez sends one out to left field. A long home run, the first of his career, a three-run shot. And that gives the Mariners a 5 to nothing lead. But next year, just like there was a lot of open spots going into this year, that one has hit a ton. Kemp never moves way out of here. 7-0 Mets. And up. With Milwaukee, the 2 0 pitch. And Newpar shoots one out to deep right center at the wall. Goodbye. And it's a grand slam. Into the second deck. And the White Sox break it open. It's now six to one. Robert hitting his 12th. And it's a big one. Through to Urshela in the first pitch of the next inning. I think has tied the game. Garcia with number 20 impressively. Deep into the second deck. And it's one apiece. A high wall to low wall or low wall to high wall. It's something that they discuss. That's over the high wall. That sure is. Long gone. Maybe one too many cutters for Salvador Perez as he's going to trot this one nice and easy. Mara is able to make some adjustments. First pitch swinging. This ball pounded center field. Tavares gives it a look, but that's long gone. Well, Murphy crushed that one for his 14th home run of the year. Oakland has scored in each of the first three frames. It's 3 0. 0 for 5 with the bases loaded this year. Baez crushed deep. Grand slam for Javi Baez.
His seventh of the year. A fly ball to the fence. He's had a couple of those. They're just out, right? Doesn't matter. And then drive deep hey. to center. That one might this not one be over the, the fence. fence. Yeah, that was a long, long way. Whoa. For the Pirates' bullpen. 13th for Wisdom. But that's why you can do that with a five run lead. Because, okay. Ball, four seamer up for the fly ball. Depending on my defense. Fly ball again. Acuna deep left center. He's got two homers. Wow, 115 off the bat, 464. A double in the third inning. Hammered, but looks like that will be fouled down the line. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fair ball. Fair ball. Austin Hayes with a shot up into the second deck. Oh, goodness. That was a long one. In the air to center, Alec Thomas backing up, looking up, and whoa, that one is way out of here. In the left center field, he did it again. Nearly the same spot, even deeper this time. Holy moly. Number 36 for Judge. High fly ball, left field. Back of the warning track, back of the wall, and touch him off, Christian. And the Diamondbacks have tied it on Walker's fourth of the season. 1-1. One, 110.5 one. miles an hour off the bat. Glad he's a great hitter. Well, Buck, I think he's going to put the jacket on. I guess he got in the gym. Holy smokes, did he hit that one. In strikeouts from Bellarmine, a Division II school, Brandon Falk. Brandon Drury hits another one out of here. Come on. Yep, it's gone. One time Diamondback back at Chase Field. Drury homered in the first and now leads off the fourth with another long ball. 0 oh and 2. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no. That just no, tied no, it up. No. That's not a good 0 2 pitch. That landed in the third deck. Schwarber's second home run in 24 hours is fourth as a Philly. Two struck out to end the first. And that one is hit high and very deep. And I mean very deep. Oh, my goodness. That went over the suites and into the first row. Watching it as it happens, didn't look like he came that close to swinging. Let me swing at this one. And that's deep out to center, and it is gone. Boy, a massive Mike Trout home run, his second of the year. And that didn't leave a lot to the imagination. Wow. Whew. He's a double play candidate for sure. That's not a double play. That is a two-run home run, and the game is tied at two. Wow. Into the left field bleachers, halfway up. Here's a 2-1 to Yelich, and Yelich smothers this one. Long gone to right. This is going to land. Wow, did that land in the third deck? Yes. And in right center field, third deck. Mercy. Well, that is one of the longest home runs we've ever seen. Stay fair. Take, Take a good look. You won't see this one for long. C.J. Crone. Wow. That was kind of course. The dugout looking, trying to figure out if this thing stayed in the yard. 